or robots guide with kitty wr hey guys uh, this is kitty aka ben welcome to another video Okay, they're here, but don't worry, I got you. Well, kinda. So here it goes. How to deal with dragon bots. So dragon bots are pretty dominant. Um, you may disagree with me on one or two, but remember that dominance also depends on your league as well. Think about rock, scissors, and paper game. It's a game of counter picks. So you win by picking the right tools. Also showing your tool sign at the right time. In War Robots, dealing with certain enemy robot is very similar. Counter build of your choice matters and timing of your attack is crucial. First, let's look at the Red Dragon Owl Queen. Here's a look at the robot design in case you forgot what it looked like. This isn't that difficult to counter, just think that it's a flying pattern with built-in Scourge or Spark. That's red. Okay, since it's already permanently equipped with single built-in energy weapon, if this robot is giving you trouble, Make sure you prepare your hangar with at least one robot that has a physical shield. Its mobility and quickness during flight make these robots easier to avoid rocket type weapons, just like the hover. So in this case, energy weapon would do much better job at attacking this robot. Also keep in mind that it has its uh, built-in weapon is 600 meters so if you see a red dragon fly within 600 meters, make sure you have a cover near you or, or you can walk out of range. Next is the green dragon, Alguin. Here's a look at the robot design in case you forgot what it looked like. We see the specs here. One thing noticeable with its spec is damage resistance during its flight. Also, when it is flying, keep in mind that it shoots 500 meter homing missiles as well. So when I tested, I could almost never kill this robot while it was in the air. Uh, even if I tried, um, I would waste a lot of ammunition. So uh, my advice is don't bother wasting your ammo. Because of its quickness and ability to avoid infrastructure, to limit its mobility, uh, lock it down. Lockdown tend to be very good way of dealing with this robot. Lastly, keep in mind that it has 20 second cooldown. During its 20 second cooldown, it doesn't have damage resistance. So when you have the chance, um, when it lands, definitely go and chase it. This is the final boss dragon. This is the most dominant dragon robot. This is the white dragon Aojun. Here's a look at the robot design in case you forgot what it looked like. Um, it has two heavy weapons, 12 second skill duration with stealth ability. While I was figuring out this robot, I first found out the worst possible way of dealing with this robot. Um, that's with Vortex, firing Vortex while Aojun is still in air with activating quantum radar since it's in stealth mode so unless you fire as it lands with quantum radar on during air you would waste all of your rockets it wouldn't do anything so vortex pilots keep that in mind combination of quantum radar and lockdown seem to be the best counter combination against this robot although it can avoid buildings and landscapes uh, in the air it does not have any cover against quantum radar 
However, quantum radar duration isn't enough to kill this robot as well. Locking them down would give Aljun extra trouble. The more I was fighting against this robot, the more I realized that importance of constant pressure with my weapons. Here's why. Most players tend to stack up dominant items on dominant robots. In this case, dominant robot being Aljun. Um, most people had last stand module on this robot, um, possibly with cooldown boosters. So although it has 20 seconds cooldown, it was able to buy lots of its time before it could activate its next flight, next dragon breath. And the next clip would show combination of the quantum radar and lockdown with constant uh, pressure onto this robot. So as most players like having dominant item on a dominant robot, in this case dominant robot being the Aljun, um, you always have to expect last stand to go off. So with that last stand, the player is buying quite a bit of time until the next Dragon Breath skill. So that's why I like to apply constant pressure to kill the bot before it gets another skill set. Thank you guys for watching and if you guys have your own tips definitely drop them down in the comment section below share some love guys so until my next guide i'll see you guys later mm -hmm.